Hello students. So yesterday I showed you one image of a patient having bald area over scalp and I asked you the diagnosis and the diagnosis was androgenetic alopecia and almost all of you have answered it correctly. Now we are going to discuss this condition with the help of one image based question. Like in this question they are asking what is the drug of choice for androgenetic alopecia in males. So remember that this condition can occur both in males and females. In males what is the ideal choice for treatment. Now remember that these patients have two important findings when you will examine them you will find that the frontal hairline which was somewhere here is now receding backwards. So there is receding frontal hair line so frontal hair line is receding backwards and along with that there is hair loss from the vertex portion of the scalp. So this type of hair loss is commonly seen in males known as androgenetic alopecia. In this condition generally we treat with 5% minoxidil and oral drug which is preferred is finasteride and the dose is 1 mg. So this is the ideal treatment that is topical minoxidil and oral finasteride. But if you look at the options, the minoxidil which is mentioned here is 2%. So remember 2% is generally preferred for females but not males. So here the answer becomes finasteride 1 mg is the dose. So answer here is finasteride 1 mg. Now as you can see in this image, this hair loss progresses gradually and that's why there are different types of st or stages like you can see here gradually the frontal hairline is receding backwards then it is further receding then there is loss from the vertex portion which is gradually increasing and then almost complete baldness is seen. So this pattern is known as Hamilton pattern. So Hamilton pattern is the male pattern of androgenetic alopecia on the other hand Ludwig pattern is female pattern of androgenetic alopecia. Now this is the image for tomorrow. I will be discussing this condition tomorrow. Now can you diagnose this condition? So identify this condition. I can give you a few clues here. Here you can see that the skin is erythematous or red. Then these superficial scales are coming out and there are pus filled lesion. So pus are present. So what is your diagnosis? See you all tomorrow. Thank you very much.